We, of course, continue to monitor the status today of Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin. As we told you in the first half hour, and as you probably already knew from looking at your social media feed and watching TV last night, he collapsed during a game last night after going into cardiac arrest right there on the field. According to the Bills, Hamlin spent the night in the ICU there in Cincinnati and remains in critical condition at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center here today. Uh, this, of course, has brought up a lot of conversations. We've been talking about the heart a lot today. We started off this newscast, in fact, talking about that with paramedic Caleb Rozier with uh, the Carrollton Fire Department. And as promised, uh, Caleb, we brought you back here with the doll today to talk about CPR because, you know, you start watching this kind of stuff happen last night and we talked about this. The fact that he got CPR right away is instrumental in the fact that he has a chance at he recovering has today. has a fighting chance for yeah. sure. Absolutely. So that's where it begins. And most of us uh, are not as fortunate as he was if, if something happens to us that we're right there in the middle of a stadium with trained medical personnel right there, sure. an ambulance right there waiting, yep. and then immediately speeding us to a medical center. We're relying on the people who are standing around us and how many of them know CPR. That's absolutely right. And, and what we need to keep in mind is 70% of these cardiac arrests uh, outside of the hospital are going to happen in the home. Hmm. So it's gonna be with somebody you know and love. Mm -hmm. So we wanna keep uh, the, the messaging as simple as we can, and it really is a simple process. So you're not necessarily learning this to help a stranger. You may be learning this to help someone you love in your family. So let's go on down to the doll here. Sure. Uh, do they still call it Annie? Annie, Okay, there you go. still Annie. Yep. Uh, I took one of these classes a while back. Sure. And I'll admit that I probably don't, I didn't retain as much as I should. You have the basics. Yep. Uh, but it has changed a lot since I took it last. Just in the past couple of years, we've gotten away from the mouth-to-mouth -mouth part. That's correct, hands only. Compressions okay. are all we're worried about. Um, you know, that, that's changed and really kind of been emphasized over the past couple of years, probably in the light of COVID and, and respiratory emergencies uh, or a pandemic, you know, you don't yep. want to be up that uh, close and personal to somebody when we're spreading germs the way we have been so now I do remember when you come up on somebody like yep. this uh, that you're supposed to you know ask if they're okay kind of shake them a little bit maybe yep. listen hey for... hey are you okay and do yep. you still put your ear down to see if you can hear breath coming out or are you doing so let's talk about those steps if you see somebody go down in front of you in the dramatic way that we saw Damar Hamlin last night yeah it's pretty obvious something bad has happened so hey hey are you okay he's not responsive the first thing we want to do is call 911 if we're by ourselves we pull out our cell phone call 911 put it on speaker and set it down next to us mm. so that the telecommunicator can give us some additional instructions because that might be that life-saving AED that's on its way while you're keeping the blood moving here. Absolutely. We need to be able to keep that blood moving that has enough oxygen still inside it to keep, you know, the, the heart and the brain alive for that first five to six minutes while we're waiting on additional And then you're health. doing what now? How does it... How, so, hey, hey, idea. are you okay? We're going to call 911, and then you talk about what we need to do next. You, you mentioned looking and listening mm -hmm. for breath. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to position ourselves to where... We can listen and feel for breath on our face, but we're getting a look mm -hmm. at this person's torso to look for chest rise and fall. If they're not responsive and if they're not breathing, that's when we're gonna start compressions. Okay. So you're gonna put the heel of your hand right in the center of the chest. Mm -hmm. You're gonna put your other hand on top. Mm -hmm. Your knees are gonna be up close and personal so that your shoulders can be directly over your hands. Hmm. You're going to start pressing, getting the power from your hips. You're just kind of moving like a piston in an engine. Your arms are locked out. Two inches of depth. Mm -hmm. You're pushing 100 to 120 beats a minute. Like everybody says, it's about the beat of BG staying alive. If that's Everybody knows that song. Everybody knows that song. So, so you're playing that in your head, yep. and you don't stop. You just keep doing you, this. You keep doing this until an AED comes. So okay. that's the last here. step. So they're not responsive. You call 911, you check for breathing, you start compressions, and you send somebody else to grab an AED. Mm -hmm. If you know where one's at, quickly grab it and bring it back to you. That's what we've got here, an automated external defibrillator. Uh, real quickly before I let you go here, most of us have never opened one of these. Thank God we've never had to use one of these. You've seen this a million times though. If I open this thing, I've never done it before, I can look at the pictures on here and listen to the instructions and do it. Press an on button, look at pictures, it's automated. It's gonna tell you exactly what to do. Okay. 
could save a life, could be in your own family, could be your friends. Uh, and, and of course, this is top of mind, very important as we saw last night. Caleb Rozier with the Carrollton Fire Department. Thanks for being here with us Thank today. You, Jason. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Some yep. great information and really good perspective. Stuff to think about. Uh, if you are looking for somewhere to get free CPR training, we've got you covered in that department. And again, you don't have to do the mouth to mouth anymore. Uh, all you got to do is head to WFAA.com. You'll find it right there on the home page. I've made it even easier than that for you, though. If you follow me on uh, Facebook or Twitter, I'm at Jason Wheeler TV. And I've tweeted out the link to that article for you. So if you're on one of those platforms, just go straight to it and learn it for the people around you. All right, uh, the North Texas.